Hi friends, welcome to Sri Anu Publications. Today we will discuss about that uh, mathematics concept, some concepts. In that one, you are first of all you are discussing about that uh, number system. In the number system, so are in the so many concepts are there. In that one, first of all, in that number system. So you want to discuss about the number system. You want to first of all in this one, first of all, let's recall. So let's recall in this one. So so many concepts are there, but in that in our lower classes from third to up uh, to sixth class, you want to discuss some concept here. In the let's recall in that one. First of all, what is the number and how to format the number? You want to discuss now. Now in this one, first of all here zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, here uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, these uh, 10 symbols, what you call this one? These 10 symbols are called that one digits. By using the digits, we can form a number. So, these are all the numbers only, but we are, these are a single digit number, we are calling this one single digit numbers. In this, by using the digits, we can form a number. So, by using the number, we can write, you can represent what you are uh, saying that any concept for that in numerically, you can expand that one. So, you represent that uh, any number, any quantity. So, you want to represent that one. So, suppose you want to write that one that uh, academic year for that this year means uh, you want to write this you want to collect that 2 0 1 and 3 so if you collect these uh, all the digits we can we form a number means we can write this one 2023 we can write this one otherwise 2013 so here uh, 2013 we are forming this one 201 we means collecting these uh, uh, first uh, four digits uh, we are collecting that one 2000 13. Suppose you want to write this one 2023. 2023 means we are collecting the 2s are 2 times and 3 is the 1 time and 0. So, here uh, collecting the digits and form a number. So, in this one forming a numbers means we can form uh, any number of digits. Any number of digits. By using the digits, we can form a number. So, by using the form the number, it may be single digit, it may be double digit, it may be 4 digits, it may be 3 digits, it may be 5, 6 or 10 digits also. So, we are forming a number, we are forming a number means we can collect the digits only, we can form a number. Now, in this one, to form a number, so here, one digit numbers, so least digit First of all, you want to discuss about the least digit. What are the least digit? So, here all the concepts are there. So, so many concepts are there. So, in this one, here we want to discuss about that least to highest number. First of all, in this one, let's let's recall means in the uh, first class and second class, we have that uh, numbers. So, to find that number, to write the numbers by using that uh, 0 to 9. 0 to 9, you are forming a number. So, in this one, we can write any number as that by see once in this one. Now, you can write, see once, here we can form a number means so first of all, least, least number, least number or least digit. So, least number, so we can take that least number say of this single digit nothing but 1. So, you want to take that one, least one is that nothing but is that uh, 1 here. Uh, Least one is that highest one you want to take. So, least one is that number that is the positive quantity you are taking that one. And here uh, other than we can't represent anything. What we will take here? Zero. We will take that one? Zero. So, we are taking that uh, one, zero. Up to where you want to take here? Up to nine. So, in this one if you take this up to nine we can take that uh, that is the maximum. So, in this one least one and greatest one you want to write greatest least and greatest so in this one least one is what is the great greatest one is what for that uh, single digit it may be only one digit number or two digit number or three digit number so up to we can take that uh, infinite numbers so in this one we are taking the least one is what here in the least one you can take that one that is a zero that is a zero zero is also a number it is not thing it is a null it is saying that null so, here least digit, one digit is that saying that 0. 
in this one greatest is what we hear greatest one is that 9 greatest one is that 9 now in this one we are taking that one single digit that one now you should take the double digit double digit least one is how much that one double digit one now 1 and 0 nothing but 10 nothing but 10 so 1 and 0 so we are taking the double digit uh, we are taking the maximum number is what here 99 99 now in this one tri triple uh, double triple digit number we want to take this one 100 0, 0. 100 0, 0. means we are taking the one and remain you are taking zeros so that is the least three, three, three digit number least three digit number here we want to take that greatest three digit number nothing but 999 nine, nine. So you want to take like this one, we can take that one infinity like this. So you can form a number, it may be 3 digit number, it may be 4 digit number or it may be 5 digit number, we can take any number. So in this one, we are taking that one here 0 is there, here 9 is there, here 10 is there, here 99 is there. In this one, we are taking this one greatest number, if you observe that one greatest number, greatest number if you add 1, we are getting the next least number. Suppose you are taking the greatest number is 9. For the 9, we are taking the 9 plus 1 is how much? Nothing but 10. We are getting here greatest uh, by using the greatest uh, one digit number, we are getting the least two digit number. We are getting the least greatest least number. So you are taking that we are adding for this uh, greatest two digit number 99. For this one, you are adding one, we will get this one 100. Means what did you are getting here? Three digit smallest number you are getting here. 3 digit smallest number you are getting like this we can form a number means here uh, we can form any number by taking that uh, that digits only what is the digits are here we are taking that uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that's it so by using these standards we can form a number but that may be single digit number it is the great least number or it may be greatest number it may be greatest number so here in this one com can form so they are asking that one suppose they are in the examination they will ask that we can write that one as that what is the greatest positive number that is the we can write that one by using that uh, successor of that one what is the successor what is the predecessor so successor and predecessor what is the mean by successor for any number we can add one if any number we can add one that number is called that successor number means we are taking that one nine is the number is there suppose nine is a number is there for the nine we are adding one means we are successing for that one so one means we are attacking that we are getting that ten so successor of nine is called that successor of successor of nine is called that one as here successor of 9 he is that so, suppose 9 we are taking successor of 9 is how much here we can take that one 10 10 nothing but uh, two digit least number two digit uh, least number and here uh, predecessor successor successor predecessor predecessor successor predecessor means what here successor means uh, here uh, you want to take plus one predecessor means you want to take that minus one here successor successor predecessor predecessor to take to find the predecessor for any number you want to subtract one if you find the successor of any number you want to add one you want to add a one so here uh, if you want to find the successor of any number suppose nine nine you are taking for the nine successor is how much here that is nothing but ten means you want to add that one so nine plus one is nothing but ten so this is called the successor of the nine nine ten is called the successor of nine now you want to find that predecessor predecessor suppose you are taking that 100 suppose you are taking the 100 number that number predecessor how much here you want to subtract 1 means you want to subtract 1 means you will get here uh, 100 minus 1 you will get this one 99 
99. So, here uh, when you are finding the successor, when you are finding the predecessor, you want to find that one, you want to add or subtract. Suppose you are asking the successor, you want to add 1. Suppose you are asking the predecessor, you want to subtract minus 1. So, you can find the successor or predecessor if you number. So, I am asking the one more question here. Here, suppose I want to find that x is a number, x is a number, what is the successor of uh, successor, successor of x is 